What's up guys, it's Mian. I'm back with another video today. I've got another diecast review to do today. This is another, or I should say, this is the other 124 scale diecast that I picked up uh, via via the Gypsy Tents um, up at Loudoun this past weekend, which, for that, if, if you want to see more on that whole trip, go ahead, go check out the playlist uh, linked in the description below. It's 20 videos. Most, majority of them are under a minute long. Um, but I had such a fun time. I can't thank my buddy Jonathan enough. And anyway, this is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2008 um, National Guard Chevy for 100 Motorsports. There was over 104,000 of these made. Um, I honestly should have grabbed another one. And the reason why is because I have another 2008 Dale Earnhardt Jr. diecast, uh, 124 scale diecast in my collection. And there's a part on it that broke at some point. Um, I'll show you which part it is on this diecast um, momentarily. But there's a part on, on it that's broke, and I figured if I had a replacement, or a, like a, um, I'm not going to use this one, obviously, but if I get another one, I will um, have to get one to replace that part. But anyway, here's the diecast out of the box momentarily. And there have been a few times where I've unscrewed 124s you know off camera but kept the video going but this was not one of those times simply because of the fact of how hard it was to get them off and I re to get the screws out and I realized I needed a smaller screwdriver head than what I was using but anyway here is the die cast out of the box and the one thing I noticed right off the bat actually is that this is that this front wheel here is wobbling a heck of a lot. I actually unscrewed the die cast and looked underneath just to see why, and I can't really find anything. Um, while I'm looking right here, I gotta set this up, sort of, kinda. Um, it's this part right here that broke. It was a part along here that broke somewhere else at some point in time. I've only taken out the other die cast a couple of times. So I really don't know how it broke. It might have broke in the box or something. But either way, um, I need to get another 2008 Dale Jr. diecast um, to replace that part. But anyway, here again, of course, like I said, is the diecast. And um, there was, I think, a different sort of version of this diecast. I think the white was more silver or whatever that I could have grabbed for a little more, bit more. But I ended up going settling with this one. And I think this is a pretty neat die cast in and of itself. Try to get the hood open for you here. So you can of course see into the engine. Obviously this is at a time where these guys put a lot more detail uh, into these things and whatnot. There of course you have the mesh um, window net. You also have the hood flaps that open up. And of course the trunk opens up as well. This one likes to see this one seems to like to fold all the way back for whatever reason. I'm gonna fold it back down to keep it that way, but we'll see inside real quick. But obviously, you know, with Dale Jr. and you know, obviously I'll talk briefly about my Loudon trip because obviously, like I said, um, you know, I have the video, the playlist um, here on the channel. I had so much freaking fun. It was an absolute blast to get to be at Loudon and Stafford on Friday night as well. Both for the first time. I, I truly enjoyed it. And with this die cast, I'll also say that I like the blue on it. Uh, it looks really neat. But yeah, so again, I don't, I, I can't really find anything wrong other, you know, as to why this wheel is like this, other than the fact that it is super wobbly, and like the other one, you don't really see that, so uh, I guess I'll just have to leave it in the box and try to be careful with it. But with all of that being said, thank y'all for watching, I hope y'all enjoyed, if you did, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Actually, one, one more thing. There's another die cast I'm going to review, uh, but I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow. But like I said, peace.